delegates. They say great journalists have a good nose for a story. But what if corporate crimes have caused you to lose your nose, fingertips, and other extremities? You certainly wouldn't be amused by Sir Andrew Witte. Witte always gets a good laugh at parties, but as CEO of GlaxoSmithKline, he inked an $84 million agreement with the WHO to distribute unsafe syphilis vaccines in Nigeria and Rwanda. They were set to be destroyed. Before Witte's board could quip him into shape, he retired. Three months later, the deal is complete. Reports of dangerous side effects are pouring in. Witty is shown to be a compulsive gambler who's dealt GSK's plans to improve their image a royal flush. And the WHO may have been infiltrated by phenomenally professional pharma people eager to turn West Africa into a pell-mell pill mill. Who can trust them now?